In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving a Polynomial Inequality, Problem Type 4. We're asked to solve this inequality, and unlike previous examples, the inequality is not zero on one side. So in my first step, I'm going to set it equal to zero by moving the expressions on the right hand side over to the left hand side so that I'll have a zero on the right hand side. And I can do that by subtracting 4x from both sides and adding 16 to both sides. This would cancel everything on the right, giving me a zero. And since I'm just adding and subtracting, the direction of my inequality would stay the same. On the left hand side now, writing this in descending order, I have x to the third minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 16. So I now have my polynomial on the left hand side, a zero on the right hand side. Again, unlike previous examples, this is not factored. So in my next step, I will factor the left hand side. And since I have four terms, I'll try factoring by grouping. So taking the first two, x cubed minus 4x squared, I could factor out an x squared. In the first term, I would be left with just an x. In the second, just the minus 4. And then for this second piece, I've got minus 4x plus 16. Here I could factor out a minus 4. From the first term, that would leave me with just an x, and then factoring out a minus 4 from 16 would leave me a minus 4. And now I have two x minus 4s. I can factor those out. x minus 4, in this first expression, I'm left with x squared. In the second expression, a minus 4. So I have factored by grouping, but I can see that I could factor it further because this second term is the difference of two squares. So writing that as the difference of two squares would give me x minus two, x plus two, greater than or equal to zero. I can now see that I have three factors. Being multiplied is greater than zero. For the first factor, setting it equal to zero and solving for x gives me an x equals four. For the second factor, x minus 2, setting it equal to 0 and solving for x gives me an x equals 2. The third factor is x plus 2, setting that equal to 0 and solving for x gives me x equals negative 2. I have three points of interest. I'm going to write those from smallest to greatest, negative 2, 2, and 4 and use these to create a table where I look at each one of the factors. First, x minus 4. x minus 4. If I plug any value in greater than 4, that would be a positive. If I plug in any value less than 4, it would be a negative. And then the next factor is x minus 2. For x minus 2, any factor greater than 2 would be positive. Any factor less than 2 would make that negative. And then our last factor, x plus 2. If I plug into x plus 2 any value greater than negative 2, I would have a positive. Any value less than negative 2, I would have a negative. And since this inequality has these three factors being multiplied, when I multiply three negatives, my result is negative. Two negatives and a positive being multiplied would give me a positive. One negative being multiplied with two positives would be negative. And three positives being multiplied would be positive. For this example, I'm looking for where the product on the left-hand side is greater than zero. So where it is positive, it is positive here and here. We're not looking for equal to zero. So I'm going to write each one of these areas without including the endpoints. We first have negative 2 to 2, not including those values. And the union with 
4. Again, not including it because I only have greater than 0, not greater than or equal to 0. But to the right, this would go on to positive infinity. Any x value in these regions would satisfy our inequality.